friends, it's Nancy, and this this gigantic package just arrived in my mailbox. Uh, I I was expecting this package from Kelly. I was not expecting it to be this huge because she sent me a picture of a couple of doilies and said, "Would you like these?" Yes, of course I would. And it's funny because I was just getting set up because I wanted to do. A video today about lace so I pulled a I ironed this morning I pulled a whole bunch of vintage lace out I've got my um, thread ready to Ooh. <laughs> look at these Catherine <laughs> junk journal fuel <laughs> I bet I bet they don't have those in the US because it's Cadbury's British isn't it I see all kinds of exciting things in here. Oh, so pretty. Oh, there's some cool stuff here. Look at these sticker labels. Those are awesome. Oh, I have been wanting... Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I suppose I could have untied that. Yeah, I could have untied that. <laughs> Look at these. I have never seen these before. I have been wanting seed. Let us know, sorry. I have been wanting to get some of these seed packets and I see them from time to time at uh, um, the um, antiques market in St. Jacob's, but woo! Oh, look at these. And these cute little paper bags. I think I know what I'm going to do with those. And these are, oh, oh yeah, yeah, they're, they're Mo Mo uh, Morris prints. I'm looking at it and going, wait a minute, what's, the... but yeah, circa 1905. So this is sort of the same era as my cookbook. Is this a card? No, it's a postcard. Oh, oh, there's so many of them. They're all William Morris. Look at that one. That one's going in my cookbook for sure. For sure. These are cute. District Mark. Oh, Tim Holtz. Hmm. Never seen those before. A wine label. Those are very cute. Looks like stained glass almost. Oh, more wine labels. Neat. Very neat. Oh, this is going to go in my chocolate uh, journal. I've been saving chocolate stuff again. I've got probably two big... Look at these cuties. You're out in the wilds of Manitoba, Kelly. Where are you getting all this cute stuff? <laughs> Oh, and you must have made these for me. They're so cute. And library cards. Ooh. And some playing cards with beautiful flowers. Wish tickets. Everybody needs a wish ticket. Story. Love, hope, trust, dream, wish. Those are neat. Are those Tim Holtz too? I like these very much. Oh, more mini eggs. <laughs> I don't have to leave my studio today. What's in here? Oh, 
there's some cute stuff. These are the doilies she sent me pictures of that had the, the crocheted flowers. And uh, I wanted to, uh, to cut these crocheted flowers off of doilies to use. Very cute. And I love this pink. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Imagine the hours that went into this. There's a matchy one. Well, it's the same color, it's a different pattern. Look at these. Look at these bad boys. Love it. Love, love, love. There's some more. Yeah, I'll have to get out my iron. This one's nice. Very nice. Oh! I didn't remember seeing this. Look at these beauties. Oh, and there's so many of them. I will be having... Oh, look. There's these little ruffles. This would have been the kind that you know, they would do the sugar, sugar starch to get the ruffles to pop right up. Oh, and there's some purple. I think this is pillowcase lace. Oh, what's this? I have no idea what this is, but it's got numbers on it. Oh, Kelly. I am super excited about all of this. There's a wish to go with my weeds. <laughs> oh my gosh, they've got little... bead is that bead stitched on like how is it hanging on there oh I can't see well enough to tell you know who who was I watching the other day that had these and I thought oh, gosh I used to have lots of those what did I ever do with them who was I watching oh it was um Artie Mays labels love 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 them oh my gosh look they're little cupcakes so cute so cute these are uh, name uh, um, place cards I guess eat drink and be merry oh and there's some more place cards Oh, I love these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or a friend that sends you chocolate. <laughs> are they? Oh, these are. I was gonna say, are they blank on the back? But no, these. This one's blank. Oh, there's a couple of blank ones. These are super cute. Um, thank you so much, Kelly. You're going for a dip in some tea. We used to have these a million years ago when I was nursing and the color clip on the patient's divider in the med cart. Like if it was blue, they had a daytime med to give. If it was green, they had an afternoon, like a three to 11. And if it was red, it was a night, night med. It's so good that everything's gone electronic now. Okay, what's in here? Oh, Edith. 
Hold in. Nice. So nice. Callie. Gally sent me a message, oh, months ago. What, what would be my um, my holy grail find? And I said, uh, old recipe box full of handwritten recipes. Oh my gosh, I love these. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you so much, Kelly. Oh, look at the little foldy notes. Super cute. Oh, they're di oh, different. Look at the raccoons. They are cute. And the chippy. Neat. And some, um, oh, what's this called? I can't remember. It'll come to me at three in the morning. Ooh! And some very old looking binder paper. <gasps> I've been lamenting my lack of tea dyed paper. Thank you so much. Ooh, look at this one. This one's neat. Is it tea dyed? Or did you get it like that? Very good. Very, very good. I'm so excited. And oh, Kelly spoiled me. And I and I should say you shouldn't have, but God, I'm glad you did. <laughs> oh, I'll I'll open the card later. Alright, let me clear off my desk, read the card. And then we'll get started on playing with some lace. I might need to eat some of those chocolates too. Hang on. All right, I had to show this. Um, I can't remember the date of this cookbook. So it was a it was um, a Swan's Down cake recipe booklet, and it uh, there was an image in it that Kelly wanted. This that was her holy grail. And uh, she wanted to know if I ever saw it, let her know, or if I did have it. Um, and it just so happened like a week or two later, really soon afterwards, I saw it on, I think it was fa Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji or something. Uh, so I sent it to, sent the link to Kelly and she snatched it up. Uh, and the picture, the picture that Kelly wanted was a fruit cake, I think. So this, um, this page came from the, probably the center of that book. Emergency cake. Isn't all cake emergency cake? <laughs> okay, this has cheered me up. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to do, play with some lace today. First thing I wanted to do is uh, I've got this, I've used this uh, lace before. Um, and I'm, I want to save the embroidery, but I'm not going to use the embroidery in this project. But I am going to cut this lace off. So I'm going to cut the fabric just under those threads. Well, they're not really stitches, but they're, they're stitches. So I'm just going to use my sharp scissors.
pack this off. Oh, I had a hard time getting out of bed this morning. I stayed up way too late, glued to the TV, watching the news. Oh. And I have no intention of being political. Um, that's not why you come to watch my videos. But I have I've been to DC. Um, that was actually a bucket list item for us because, well, here uh, in Canada we get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of American media. Our news is American. Um, we consume American media all day long, every day. Uh, so we, you know, and both Doug and I are interested in history. So we've gone to the, the, the States to, um, to see places and things that, you know, that we've, we've read about or we've seen on TV or... So... Even though we're not American and proudly Canadian, um, like for example, I'm just going to glue this on the edge of this page. We went, we had a vacation to um, Pennsylvania Dutch country. I wanted to go to Lancaster County and while we were there, we went, took a side trip to um, Gettysburg. And when we, when we got to Gettysburg, I said to Doug, why are we here? And he says, because you want to come here. I said, I don't want to come here. I said, I thought you wanted to come here. I just wondered what it was you wanted to see. And he says, oh, well, I thought you wanted to come here. <laughs> and... As it turned out, it was very, very emotional walking through the cemeteries and the battlegrounds, um, not so much the museums and that sort of thing, but, it, you know, it was, a, it was very solemn and moving. Um, so, a couple years ago, we went to D.C. I think that was 2018. And then the next spring, I went to D.C. again with my daughter-in-law. So, I've, you know, seeing the places I'd actually visited yesterday on the news just really bothered me okay enough of that so I'm going to do some stitching there I'm gonna to have to switch out my thread because I think I've got gold thread and I'm just gonna use like an ivory colored thread to try to keep it hit as hidden as possible okay mm hmm Got enough to do another one. So I might as well put that on. Got a roast beef in the fridge that I've got to get in the oven today. It's either got to go in the oven or in the freezer. One or the other.
kind of tugged that because it was, um, I think that was the rounded part of the doily and it was sticking up. Okay. So with crochet, this is hand crocheted trim. With crocheted lace, I'm not worried about it falling apart. I, I, um, it's not going to get rough handling. It's not going to get washed. Um, you know, if you are concerned about lace falling apart, you can put a couple dabs of glue on, on the end. Or... Um, what was the other thing I was going to suggest? Or free check, if you have free check. Um, you might have that in your sewing box. Got one more piece. Got rust on my finger from that rusty needle. Alright, we'll save that because we'll put it on a pocket or something. Okay, now I've got this old hanky and it is old. I'm gonna do some stuff with that. So I'm just using my um, rotary cutter to cut just above where that embroidery is. This is really yummy. It's holy and stained and <laughs> beautiful. So again, I'm not concerned about this falling apart because um, it's already falling apart. The embroidery will keep it from raveling too far. And I think if it does um, unravel a bit, that's just going to add to the charm. Could have cut that with scissors, but um, I'm gonna save this because I might want to layer some stuff on top of that, like pull some threads and make it raggedy, and then layer stuff on top of that in some collage. So I'll save that. Um, Well, that's just perfect. Okay. And now I'm just checking to see if the right side is facing up. Now it is. I might, um, no, I won't do that. I was thinking, what if I wrap this around the edge of the page, but I want the I want the lace to be um, hanging out. But 
But I was thinking, what would, what would that be like? Anyway, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue along this edge. Just to sort of tack it down. This one's even got some hand stitch repairs in it. Love, 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 love. Okay. I will probably do one more like that. <laughs> like, where did it go? Oh. <laughs> Tap, 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 tap. Now, I have a couple of other things that I want to do. I have these um, collars. When I bought them, they were white, but I'm, I tea dyed them. There, that's a matching pair. Oh, I forgot to do the treasure box because I brought up a pair to put in the treasure box. Here's one for the treasure box and I also brought up these. These, I think they're like little coasters or something. I I don't know, but they're thin. Very thin. And I thought, you know what? This would be awesome for, you know, to mount a picture on or to use as a pocket. I think there's a lot of great uses for this. So I'm going to put one of those in the treasure box as well. And I have a, I have, I have three more. I have three more. So I can still use. Okay. Now this one. What I thought I would do is take one of my collars Got to find one that's facing the right direction. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. There, I think that one's facing the right direction. 
And it has some some stay stitching around the edge. I'm going to take that off. This is the right side. I gotta look at these things because I wanted one face in the other direction. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's one. I'm going to stitch this as a side tuck onto that page. And I'm not worried too terribly much about fraying because I think fraying will kind of look good. Um, also, I'm going to be stitching it so it won't fall completely apart. And... A little bit of glue is going to be involved. Now this time I'm going to ask my fabric to overhang just a bit. Maybe I'll pull a couple of threads. I don't know how easy that's going to be. It's, it's a very tightly woven fabric, or yeah, fabric, that's what it is. <laughs> what is this stuff? Okay, so I've got a couple pulled, and I'll give them a haircut. This time I'm going to use a little bit of uh, glue stick. I'm going to use my purple glue because it is it's very thin fabric and I don't want it to show through. And I'm not using a terrible lot of glue, but just enough to tack it down to keep it straight while I'm sewing. Okay. There's that one. This 
a beautiful little thing. It's also stitched into um, the the linen. So the here, let me cut a few. This is all hand done. So I'm just cutting a few of these hand stitches where the linen's been turned over. Ah, uh, my poor eyes. I had a Zoom call yesterday with a client and I had to keep switching glasses to read her file and then to look at her. <laughs> that was brutal. <sighs> okay. So I don't, I don't know that you're going to be able to see this. But inside are the stitches that are catching the edge of this crocheted trim. So there's one thread. And I could use a thread, uh, a stitch ripper. Um, I don't have one to hand. So by trimming these little hand stitches, this lace is not going to fall apart. This lace is uh, completely solid. You would think this thread would come apart easier given its age. but they are teeny, teeny, tiny stitches. And I'm not worried that I'm cutting the lace because the, th the, the th you probably can't see it in the video, but the, the thread that's holding the lace to the fabric does look completely different than the, the thread that formed the lace. This is probably worse than watching me fussy cut, isn't it? How about I? All right. Um, so this is the tatted lace that we put on the front cover a couple, I don't know, sometime last week, I think. <laughs> Here is that lace that I cut off of the, the embroidered doily stitched on. Here is that, um, collar, fabric collar. and the vintage handkerchief. I found a couple other laces to add. Uh, this is just some netting I thought was neat. This is the one where we put the lace across the top and one on the corner. Here is some hand crochet lace that I, I think I got it as just lace. It wasn't attached to anything because I don't have any, I don't see any threads hanging. <laughs> so I stitched that on the edge. There's a little more of that. Here's the pocket. And a little more of that. And... Last but not least, um, the piece that I cut from the tissue box cover. 
So these aren't necessarily in the order that I will be putting them in the book, but I just wanted to share that with you and show you how lovely that uh, side is going to look when it's all together. So thanks so much for watching me today. We'll talk to you again soon.